Think about physical space and what do you see? Undoubtedly, you're experiencing it, you're inside of it. You may smell smells, you may hear sounds, you may even feel the temperature fluctuations on your skin, potentially even sense other people there with you. Because it's a memory. You don't think of spaces that you haven't visited because spaces are experienced, they're not thought of. And when you do think of spaces that you haven't visited, it's, it's a very two-dimensional experience. It's like looking at an image in a book. You think about what you will see as opposed to what you will feel. But think of a space that you have experienced and it's, it's rich. There's sounds and textures and smells because there are memories. Space seeds memories and those memories are evoked by anchors that are guarded by the very space that seeded them. I know I'm in the zone when I'm painting and suddenly I'm transported into a four-dimensional environment where I can move around and I can experience. For a while there, I would be painting and then I would hear the sound of uh, tires screeching on a smooth parquet surface and I would look around, survey the parked cars, uh, see the bright sunshine coming in through the holes in the parquet. I'd smile at the baggy cargo pants that I was wearing and my bleach blonde hair. And then I would turn and look at the elevator and see my mother coming out of the elevator because we just had a nice coffee at the local coffee shop and I was 20. It's a very simple memory but a very perfect one. In the studio, in the zone, those kind of memories seem to be able to flip in and out. Uh, but on the street, those memories only visit when they're evoked by anchors that are nestled in the space that seeded them. Spaces aren't thought of, they're experienced. Uh, they seed memories and become the guardians of the anchors of those memories. The space is fluid and it changes. Architects, designers, city planners, landscape artists, uh, they create and curate our space. They weave the fabric of our existence. They promote culture and community and nurture wellness in our homes. They orchestrate the spaces, public and private, where our lives are experienced and our memories are seeded and the anchors are guarded. They encourage us to live and remember. I don't go home very often and recently I had the privilege of being able to return to South Africa and I was very excited about going on a memory lane road trip in order to revisit anchors that I haven't experienced for a very long time. Uh, one of the first stops was the home that my parents built and when I arrived very little was the same. There were additions to the house, the colour was different, the garden was different, the wall was different, even the sidewalk looked different. And I stood as an alien on the outside and realised that there really was very little point in knocking on the door to us to go inside because so few anchors were left. There was one little detail that was still there and that was this Tudor design above the garage and when I looked at it instantaneously I could hear my sisters laughing behind me as we circled on our bikes on the brick driveway with my father's new Chevy parked in the garage with the little dots on the ceiling. This was my experience over and over again when I was at home so much had changed and there were so few anchors left and when I returned I felt very very uneven, very very confused um, because I realized that if the anchors no longer existed the memories only existed in my mind and I questioned whether the memories themselves were actually real and if real how long would I have the ability to remember them for and when would I start forgetting to actually remember? And then I went to my parents' new home and above the central island in the kitchen they have my painting from university which was my final exam piece and when I looked at it immediately uh, memories came flooding back to me but not just memories from that time also memories from the interim period where that painting had been a backdrop to those experiences. And I realized that paintings that have the ability to form a relationship with the people that they share space with also have the ability to become guardians of their anchors 
but they are mobile and they get passed from generation to generation. Paintings that have the ability to form relationship with the people that they share space with don't sit mutely on a wall. They actually form the backdrop to our lives. They change with us and they grow with us. They then possess the anchors of the memories of the experience that happened within that place. The complexity that you see in my paintings is intentional. It's the language that the painting uses in order to develop the relationship with you. There's just the right level of abstraction that is built upon the history of the conversation between the artist and the medium. And what's left unsaid in the painting is the invitation to you to participate in the painting and to complete it. These are scenes from your life that will guard the memories of your existence. And the new paintings continue the conversation with the urban and build upon the spring collection paintings as we morph into the rainier days of winter. There are scenes from our lives here in this space.